my three girlfriends, and yes, they smoke weed. Do they smoke weed? Yes, actually. You mean she isn't just smoking a weed cigarette? I mean, this, she means she isn't just smoking a cigarette, but a weed cigarette? It's called a bunt, not a weed cigarette. And yes, it is a weed bunt. They all smoke weed buns before we kiss. They are my girlfriends. They don't look like they smoke weed. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I'm so angry. You are so lucky my three weed smoking girlfriends are rubbing my shoulders to calm me down. I'm so mad. Your weed smoking girlfriend has a Hello Kitty tattoo on her belly. The one in the middle. I printed out a photo of your avatar and taped it to my punching bag that I punch and I mutter your URL with every strong punch I punch you twerp. Don't ever talk about Blaze or the wicked tat tattoo I drew on her ever again. I don't want to see you standing outside my home at 3 a.m. holding your weird dripping brown bags ever again. Leave us alone. This is the final fucking warning. Well, that escalated quickly. What was that? Hmm? Come again. Blaze grabs my shoulder. <laughs> Come on, Drory. They aren't worth it, please. I jerk my shoulder, shaking her off. No! No! Starts to pummel you with my big fucking fists. With each blow, I let out a furious yell. The blows come quicker and harder, and yells get louder. I'm yelling so loud now, I'm crying. Breaking point! The week was hard, and I can't take it anymore. I'm opening, sobbing at this point while you blood gurgle. All three of my girlfriends struggle to pull me off, and they finally succeed and lead me away from the goo pile that is now your body. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, who even is this dude? Someone needs some anger management classes. Love how he keeps reminding us that I have three girlfriends. They all kiss me. They smoke weed. Her nerd. Let's not forget about Blaze and her wicked tat or that he doesn't want to see you standing outside his home at 3 a.m. holding your weird dripping bags ever again. That is the final fucking warning. The goo pile that is not your body. I'm dying over here. Jesus, please, Joy. Come challenge me to a bout of internet witticisms. I promise it'll be fun. Shoots you dead. <laughs> Idiot. Leaves with my three weed smoking girlfriends to hold hands and kiss. <laughs> this dude playing OMG. <laughs> Come again. The bar falls silent. No one dares to make a sound. As you have just said, a very poor choice of words at a very dangerous time. I remain slumped over at the bar, not looking back to you. One hand limply holding an almost empty bottle, the other hand cradling my head. I repeat the question, this time louder. Come again? You can hear me slur the words. The sentence sounds like a real struggle for me to get out. I'm clearly intoxicated. A bead of sweat rolls down your face as you realize you might have just fucked up in a very major way. Everyone else in the bar is pretending to not notice what is going on. The bartender idly washes a mug with a cloth. His eyes are closed and he's muttering something to himself. A handful of people hurriedly leave. One person looks back to you, a look of sorrow on their face. They almost say something, but shake their head and cast their eyes down to the floor. You leave, but not you. You stand, petrified. A quick look at me reveals I'm still at the bar. You look to the exit. There's still time. But there's not. There's not. There's not. Your fate was sealed the moment you opened your mouth. Mother. Fuck. What did you say? I slowly rise from my stool and begin to lumber over you. I look a mess. My hair is unkempt. I haven't shaved in what looks like months. There are heavy bags under my eyes. My shirt is stained and has holes in it, and I'm missing a shoe. But the main thing you notice is the gun tucked in my jeans. Let me just...
My massive muscle arms that look like they were made for punching. You know that song about the boots that were made for walking? Yeah. It's like that, only instead of boots, it's my muscles. And instead of walking, it's punching. As I drunkenly sway over to you, you think of your family. Will they mourn you? Or will they try and forget this blotch of stupidity that their child insulted the jury publicly ever happened to their family? Your thoughts are cut short as I now stand face to face with you. I grab your face and pull you even closer. Playing? There was nothing playing. No playing, you fuck. No playing. It was real. The realest thing I've ever known. Felt. Love. I loved them. Blaze. Chas Chas. Funk. I loved all three of them. They... My face is wet with tears and I'm blinking constantly in vain to hold them back. They left me. Left. Almost instantly, the sadness leaves my face and is replaced with pure anger. Playing. Playing. My hand leaves your face and starts to, and, and starts to head to what you think is the gun. You close your eyes and see God is looking at you, shrugging. You brought this upon yourself, dude. He says as he waves his hands at you dismissively. But instead of the gun, my hands grab yours. Your eyes jolt open. And the anger is gone from my face. There is only sadness. Left me. I fall to the floor and sob. Wow. Wow. Grow up, you say before you leave the bar, are hit almost immediately from a car and killed on impact. <laughs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> That's the, the that's the story of my three weed smoking girlfriends and yes they do smoke weed <laughs>